Now there's a shaman and now there's a ravaging ghoul. Do I keep a brawl? I even have the coin. There's so many options here. I think I'll keep the brawl and the ghoul. And I managed to top deck a skill axe as well. So maybe this time I can win a shaman. Well, I have won some of the shaman games already, but... Yes, 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 yes. Because this time I have the axe. Then he placed the totem golem on two, and that I can't kill with the axe. And I don't want to hit it immediately in case of a healing totem. The light protects me. Oh, that one. Okay. I'll just wait here. No particular hurry. Next turn I could play the Ravaging Ghoul. I was hoping for some other totem. Do I still play the ghoul? Play the ghoul and do what? Ravaging ghoul was my plan. But the ravaging ghoul... Well, if he has an abusive sergeant or a flame tank totem, I have to kill this so that the ravaging ghoul will live. Even if he has something... Something like that. So I'm going to spend a weapon charge here. Now even if he has flame tongue or... Flame tongue or well, rockbiter still kills it, but then I get one rockbiter out of him, so that's not all bad. And now I get to play Elise on four. He did get a pretty decent setup here. I could also play a Twilight Guardian on four. Let's play that one. That one cannot be ignored. And it has the attack to kill the ghoul. Okay. Does this mean that I brawl this board? I don't have to brawl this board yet. I can still fight for this board as it is. And save the brawl. So I can hit there. And then I can corrupt her down the tunnel truck. So now if the 7-7 seven seven hits here, I can still have the option to trade into it with the corruptor. It's a 2 for 1 trade. I admit it's a 2 for 1 trade. If that happens. Now that Cultmaster is pretty nice. I could Revenge and Ravaging Ghoul, or I could try my luck with the Brawl. I think I go with Revenge and Ravaging Ghoul, because Brawl can kill big minions later on as well, and these cards cannot. Can deny card draw, kill the big one. Still have Brawl left. If he has the means to reflood the board. Feral Spirits are one part of getting there. Flame Tongue is another. Do I want to Brawl this board? I could just chill more. What if he has Hex? Well, I can brawl later. I want to kill off one of these, and I want to kill this one on the side where he doesn't get a new one. To benefit from the flame tank totem. Then I can play chill more. And if he doesn't have Hex for chill more or silence... Well, he first of all, he needs to... Oh, he had the Hex. 
That's okay. I still have the brawl. Only question is do I want to brawl now? Or do I still want to look for something else? If I brawl now next turn I can play Azure Drake and Elise. One of these minions is going to leave for next turn though. Let's brawl. Okay, that was a good result. So I even managed to win this brawl. That's incredible. Now he has lost one flame tongue totem as well. Okay, having another 7-7 seven, seven is of course pretty sweet. And a taunt totem to protect it. That execute is pretty nice as well though. 7-7 seven, seven is not going to get a lot of hits. Shield slam but not enough armor. Let's play a couple of minions here. He is very low on cards. And he has spent one hex already. If I can just damage that I can execute it. Okay, so I will be able to execute the big one. Now we could also shield slam it, but I guess I will go with the execute. Because with execute I can also play Nefarian. Another prime I've got primal fusion every time. Get back. Okay, well this is a downside of Nefarian, I have to admit. Getting primal fusion every time against Shaman. Feels bad, man. Okay, filling the board. Really filling the board again. And the thing from below as well. <laughs> that's pretty well filled out board. Second shield slam, that's awesome. So I can just stick our I can hero power. And then I can shield slam both of these. Both 7-7s seven are already gone. Yes, that works. Shield something from below. Shield some Azure Drake. How scared am I of Bloodlust? I guess I am a little bit scared. So I could trade. Could do some trades. Protect my board. So I have 14 plus 3. I have 17 damage. I have 23 on board. Not enough for lethal. I could have set up for lethal if I attacked face with Nefarian. Maybe I should have went for that. And getting a taunt totem. Sweet. But now he also used Bloodlust. So I just don't think he has anything left to win this game with. Let's draw, draw, draw some here. Corruptor cannot deal immediate damage. I think I'll bash. Hit phase for 8. And I'm at a comfortable 42 health. We're equally deep into our decks. Yes. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.